Good morning. This is Guns, Guns, David, David Guns coming to you on this nice little hot, steamy, sunny Friday morning, August, what is it, the 14th, 2020. <laughs> oh, God, OCD. What a effing clown. You, you make it just too damn easy, don't you? You're sponsored by a company called Lurco. That's out of China, right? That's what you say. You know, you're so full of shit. A little two-second search on Google. No such thing. Oh, and another one-minute search of the logo. Oh, God. Really? You, 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 really, gonna, you really think a company is going to take a, use a stock image from a website that offers free logos and that free logo designs. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> you just make it too damn easy, don't you? You have no clue on how sponsorship works. I didn't either a long time ago until somebody that is actually sponsors were, was explaining it to me because I asked them, how does that all work? Um, and I ain't going to say because then I'm, I'm going to help you out for you can add to your little BS lie. <laughs> sponsored. And all these clowns over there believe in this shit that he's sponsored? Come on. I mean, look, if you click on his little link on the About page, that what his sponsor is, it goes to some global um, uh, B2B business, like a multi-level marketing or a dropship company where you can put up on your website all this stuff to sell, and instead of you stock and inventory, you put the, somebody buys it, you put the order in, and the company drop ships it for you with your information on the label and that, and it just ships it right to them, and you pay them. So, yeah. And what I've never heard of a sponsor having to go to your YouTube page, you go to your about page to click on your PayPal link in order to pay you. No, it's not like that. <laughs> oh, LCD, you're, you're just a failure. You're a failure at all, everything. <laughs> oh, my God. But you know something? Thanks for the laugh this morning. Um, I, I seen that you had a couple of videos up. I wasn't even, God, I don't even waste my time on this shit. But then somebody. I was talking to somebody, and they asked me if I watched this crap. And they were telling me about it, so I had to go watch it. I needed a good laugh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, and the hats. Oh, come on. You can go online anywhere, okay? And, and there's a ton of places that you can order, and it's, it's a dozen, okay? The ones that I've seen, you, order, you have to order minimum orders a dozen, and it's really not that much to buy them, to set it all up and have them screen printed, sew it on or whatever, embroidery, whatever it's called, or screen printed on there. Oh, my God, what an effing loser. And you know something? I, I stopped by Jenny Jen Jen's, I think, yeah, Jenny Jen Jen's hangout. I don't know if it's, I don't remember if it was live or I watched it after the fact. No, it was live because they were just talking about this about, I forgot who was up there, Jenny Jen Jen Hondo and Vinny G, um, telling everybody that LCD is going to be giving a giveaway for these hats and everything. They're right. Don't give the son of a bitch your address, because he's just going to dox your, dox your ass out. That's how he did it before, doxing people out. You know, and it went to like the one video that he put up saying, awesome hooker doxed people out. That's 100% bullshit. Because I have what happened. I have that green room. I forgot who it was that won a, a coffee mug from him from their trip to California when they went out there. Or was it Vegas? One of the two places the coffee cup was from. I don't think, not Vegas. I don't think they stopped there. But wherever, the, Becca went and bought a whole bunch of stuff. It was a coffee cup. And he needed addresses. So he asked the awesome hooker to get the addresses. So the one person that he showed in this green room of Awesome Hooker putting the information in there was because of the coffee cup. That's what it was. She wasn't doxing nobody out. So, I mean, I have that green room, and I actually think I put it up. So, 
don't if you want a hat that bad go buy one okay don't don't i i really are you that cheap to 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 give some clown your information just to send you a baseball hat that says what the venture unknown with the cup oh my god are you that hard up and desperate yeah first in his video he says he has two boxes of hats then as he goes on he has hundreds of hats there you know, same thing like his height, okay? He started out two years ago, he was six foot two. Then he went up to six foot four, now he's six foot three. Really? <laughs> the guy can't keep track of his own effing lies. He can't. He screws them up all the time because you can't keep track of them. So, well, you guys enjoy this little, little presentation I put together. <laughs> I hate editing. I hate it with a passion. I was trying something different, and uh, the audio music didn't really line up. It was the full, I don't know, whatever. I don't care. But you guys get to see the shit where you got it from. This is Guns, Guns, David. Send it out. Ciao. Oh, what is that? What? What? What, what does that hat say, Dave? You're just the biggest joke on oh YouTube. Oh, my God. Now, if you were to go out and make all these fucking hats, it would cost you over 500 fucking dollars. So we have 20 hats here. 20. And this is the best part. They're camo. And they all say the same fucking thing. What do they say, Dave? Well, all these fucking hats that you see here. There's one. Oh, I got a big stack. I got two boxes of these. Two. Oh, two boxes, he says now. Three. I just, I got all these right here. I got like 10 or 12 here. With the, they all say the same thing. stock logo. All of them. Let me show you something really cool. I got one on, and I've been giving them away. This is the best part about these hats. The best part about these hats are the backs are Velcro. Oh, Velcro. Oh, boy. You hear that? Velcro. High dollar. High dollar. You know if they're Velcro, they're high dollar. Yeah. All right, you ready? They say Adventure Unknown. They have my logo, and look, Lurico, my new sponsor. His new sponsor, Lurico. Huh. Now, you guys seen the stock image that I found. It took me less than a minute or two to find it real fast, reverse image search. And searching for China companies, like he said, there is none called that. There's a couple companies in the States, and I think they're smaller little companies, you know, like mom and pop ones, that have that name in it, but not the logo. Hmm. Let's see what else. From China, Lurco sent me all these fucking hats. They sent all kinds of fucking t-shirts and sweat sweatshirts. I got fucking sweatshirts. I should actually get up and uh, show you. If you if you want, let me know the size. I'll get and show you what sweatshirts look like. I'll grab some. Uh, but now I have hundreds of these hats i mean no wait a minute he has hundreds now but they just sent him two boxes huh and he didn't count out what was it 20 or 25 he said he counted out what like 12 huh isn't that interesting like i have more ha of these hats than i like know what to fucking do with so i literally have hundreds of these hats Hundreds of these hats. I got so many of these fucking hats that it's just like, what the fuck, Dave? So, and I have boxes of these hats. Boxes and boxes and boxes. And they're camo hats, which are fucking... Wait, wait. How does two boxes turn into boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes? Huh. I don't know. That's interesting. Hey, how's your pup doing? Because... People told me they haven't heard it in the background. And who gives away a puppy that's only a couple of weeks old? You said you gave one to Bad Wolf. And it was only a couple of weeks after you said Sophia had pups. Hmm. And in another picture, there was no milk titties on Sophia. And, oh, about a year or two ago... You said in the hangout, Sophia cannot get pregnant because she has some kind of condition or something. And I, I have that hangout, and Becca even verified it the other day. 
So, yeah. Is, is this like the Rottweiler puppy you said you had? You remember when you went to go visit Elvis? The, the Roddy puppy was in the back of the truck sleeping. That's why nobody seen it or heard it. And at the hotel, too, you said the rat pipe puppy was there, too, that you paid $13,000 for? What happened to that puppy? Huh. Well, I have those hangouts. I, I can put them up where you said that little thing. But I'm still waiting for you to put up the hangout where you uh, drove from Rosemont down to Chicago to the hotel. Oh, wait, 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 wait. First it was you went down to the lobby. And I wasn't there. Then you called down to the lobby. But then months later, you said you drove down to Rosemont. So, I mean, you couldn't even make up your story. So I'm waiting for you to put up those hangouts. And I'm also waiting for this video you said that I was peeking up my blinds and you were knocking on my door. Oh, trust me, if you would have knocked on my door, I would have opened it up. <laughs> no problem at all. No problem. Let's see what else the clown says. Because he doesn't like a good camel hat. I mean, I love, I don't know about you, but I love camel fucking hats. But I opened one of the boxes, and there's like 12 or 15 in, in one box, and I got lots of boxes of these hats. Whatever, I can't continue watching this clown and that, but you guys see what's going on. Hey, LCD, how's these pearly white teeth that you supposedly got? Doesn't look like you got any yet, so. Well, this is Guns, Guns, David. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You know he's all full of shit and everything else. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh. I, I had to. <laughs> Ciao. Oh my god.